Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 109. As you can see, this zombie is going in slow motion, and that is because I have been waiting here for quite a while, and there is about 300, yes, you heard that right, 300 zombies down here in our double mob spawner. So you can tell it's kind of lagging a little bit. It's not, I don't think, my chunks, but we'll just change that anyways. Um, I'm sorry if the game sounds are really loud. I may have turned them down. This may freeze the computer, but... As you can see with the entity count, not sure how a chicken got in there, but there are 314 zombies. Let's do this. Oh no. See, I can't tell if it like froze or not, and it's going really slow. <laughs> this is this is how it feels to play on like a 2005 Dell Optiplex. You know, you get one FPS. This is how it feels, I think. Yeah, I'm not getting... Not getting above, I'm getting 1.57 FPS. That's what my video FPS says. So I'm recording one and a half s frames a second, which is, well, it's interesting. So it, it'll speed up here in a second, I promise. Uh, but yes, I wanted to get some experience, and I also just wanted to come here and do this because it's a lot of fun. Um, I have a ton of plans for this underground portion. We're not going to be going back up just quite yet because we don't have any netherite tools. Um, and netherite tools actually make it very easy for us to do big projects. Um, I've started one of the projects that I'm planning, um, a creeper farm, and we'll go to that in just a second. It's starting to speed back up. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's speeding up. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> now I'm getting 0.93 FPS. So I do apologize that this video has started off with just kind of this... Uh, well, I don't really know how you'd describe it, but it, it will speed up in just a second. You can kind of tell. It's just like... It's like an old car starting up. It's getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, she's starting up. And she's idling. She's idling. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look how many... It's, it's all these particles, I think, that makes it lag. I mean, just, like, look at that. You see what I mean? I don't know how many levels we started with. Maybe 34, but we should get a good bit from that. Um, and there's probably a lot of stuff in here, too. We don't really need the flesh. Uh, we, we really just don't. But either way, it's helpful to have in here. We have a little bit of iron as well. That's something I'm always looking forward to. Um, I did do a little bit of villager trading, and I'm going to explain some of the stuff here in just a second. But it's going to be a very exciting episode. Kind of a weird start, I'll admit. I apologize if it was kind of boring to sit there and watch it. I may have cut some of it out because, well, if I cut some of it out, you'll know. Because you... No one wants to sit there and watch that, guys. It's just a little bit too slow. Okay. Either way, perfect 60 FPS now. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay. So, I wanted to build a creeper farm. And you're probably wondering, well, Neo, why do you need a creeper farm? And the honest truth is that I really want to mine netherite. And now, a creeper farm and netherite, I think you guys may see the connection. I want to start making a bunch of TNT. Right, and mining with TNT in the nether can be very dangerous from what I've gathered on my 12 hour live stream. Which, by the way, if you guys have not seen my 12 hour live stream, it is up on the channel uploaded. You can feel free to watch it. I start at the very beginning in just a random seed, and uh, we just kind of go from there. It's actually a super, super exciting video, so you can watch 12 hours of me playing Minecraft. Anyways, back to the video. Um, so I really wanted to make a creeper farm so I can make TNT, but doing that can be very inherently dangerous because you're you're just going to get destroyed by lava, right? Um, well, I have figured out a solution to that, and the solution is quite simple. Um, we're going to do an auto piglin trader because they can drop fire resistance potions. And getting gold for that, so basically you give them gold and then they give you a random item, right? Well, getting gold is not that hard because I discovered something during the, st during the stream. I'm sorry, I keep like I'm burping, but then I'm stopping myself so I don't, you know, so I'm not rude on camera. I'm getting distracted, but there's so much exciting stuff going on. I've made just a few ideas here in a list, so you guys can pause it there and read through it if you really want to. Uh, but this is just this is just for me, basically, so I could look at it. Uh, but yes, this is what I was trying to say. You can use Fortune 3 in the nether on gold ore to get OP amounts, and I mean tons of gold. Like just So there's that gold ore in the nether now, and if you use Fortune 3, you can literally get like two or three ingots per gold ore. I mean, I, I did not understand. I didn't think that was possible, right? Uh, but somehow, some way it is. So you're wondering, Neo, why do you have all these bones? Well, 
we did get the bone farm or the skeleton farm for a reason. I really just, I, I need bones for a variety of things, okay? Uh, namely, the first is going to be this creeper farm, which I figured we'd finish on camera. I was actually doing this during one of my Zoom classes. I was literally digging out. It's a 29 by 29 area, and uh, I was just digging this out. You can tell my pickaxe from last episode is kind of destroyed. I usually don't use this, but I was not feeling very patient this morning. It's a uh, business finance was the class. Or, sorry, yeah, fundamentals of business finance. And uh, while I was in that class, I was not paying attention. I was actually mining out my quarry. So I hope my professor never sees this, because they'll be like, I'm going to fail you. Probably not, though. I did listen to a little bit of it, but that stuff is just mm, not too exciting. Either way, this is going to be our creeper farm, so that's what we're going to work on this episode. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, and you probably wondered, like, why'd you get all that bone? Um, so I'm going to make a bunch of bone meal, and we're going to get a bunch of wood. Um, now, I think the wood type I'm going to be using for this is just dark oak, because it's just so easy to... Um, it's so easy to get because it makes a four by or two by two tree and also I don't know what keeps happening here But you see I have glass in my inventory I got four in my inventory just in case he did this again on camera This villager keeps going or maybe it's another one But they keep falling into this pit and they don't get out and I don't know why because their AI just you know it, Their AI can tell that this is like, you know, there's no trap doors here It's definitely a fall and they for some reason just fall into it all the time and uh, I'll break the glass here. I mean, obviously the man is struggling and he will not get out. There we go. Thank you. I don't know why he keeps doing that. They just keep going in that in that thing and I'm just not sure why. So basically to make a creeper farm, you just have to bake a too high room and then you have to put on the top a bunch of trap doors and then a few slabs to block the spiders from spawning. Now, hopefully since I've been in this area for quite a while, I've lit up pretty much all of the caves around here, like pretty much everything, you know, that I can remember. So we should be in a pretty good position to get just a ton, like a ton, ton, ton of spawns. And uh, hopefully they're all creepers if I build it right. But what I'm going to do between now and when you see me next, I wish I had that hoe with me. I'm going to go grab it. Uh, so basically I made a hoe with like efficiency four, I think. And uh, in the new update, hoes actually break leaves very quickly. Um, kind of like how shears do, but you actually don't get the leaf. You get the... Well, you'll see in a second. You just get the sapling or the apple. I know a lot of you guys probably already know all this, but for those of you who don't, did I make that in a, in a Let's Play or something and I do not have... Oh, I know where it is. It's in our super secret storage. So if you saw the last episode or the one before the last episode, like 107, you saw that we built this beautiful lava room. This took forever, by the way. It looks like something you'd build in creative, but you can watch me struggle to build it. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Um... So I'll go and explain some things I did in the last, um, or in between this episode and last. Um, so obviously we're going to work on that um, creeper farm. So for some reason more iron golems keep spawning, that's okay. I've tried to light up every cape around here, but I've, I guess I've missed a few. But guys, we have an insane amount of iron golems. Like if I had an iron golem farm, that would be nice. But you can tell that I don't really need all these. This guy's stuck up here. Um, but I walk around and I heal them. That's why I've kept a little bit of iron with me. Just in case any of them are a little bit low. Like that guy needed a little bar. Uh, he needed one. Do any of you guys need one? Need a little bit of iron? Yes? Okay. Um, so for some reason I was in here trying to get some trades that I wanted. And all of the librarians walked in here at once. And I don't know why. I don't know if they like go to their job block at some point during the day. Uh, but they all had walked in here and I was like, oh, perfect opportunity. And I trapped them all in here. So one of these guys has, oh, well, this guy right here has mending, and it's only 18 emeralds and a book, and I've been trading paper to one of these guys, uh, this guy, or no, I guess not this guy, but another one had a paper trade, and I have 34 emeralds so far, and my plan is also to put down these fletching tables and give two villagers the fletching job, which means you can give them sticks, and they give you emeralds. So kind of an interesting trade dynamic there, sticks for emeralds. And uh, for some reason, also, I think the cartographer trades paper for emeralds. Yes, this is the guy I've been trading with. Yeah, so paper to emerald. Um, now, a bunch of these guys do not have jobs, so I'm going to put the fletching down somewhere, probably in here. Because uh, this area is kind of empty. I mean, it's not empty, but... Oh, we got a kitty. Nice. Man, I really do love this world. I love being able to play underground. It's actually a ton of fun. Um, I highly do recommend it if you've never done it before. 
Okay, so we're going to do this, and we will replace the background with some dark oak slabs. So hopefully one of these guys will get the fletching job. I don't know where they are. I, they might be... Will this guy get it? Will you get the fletching job? No, he already has a job. What about you? You don't have a job. Yeah, he doesn't have a job. There we go. So yeah, 32 sticks for one emerald. So that's a pretty decent trade, right? I mean, I don't know about you, but... 32 sticks for one emerald seems like a pretty good deal to me. Okay, we got to get out of here. Oh my gosh. But yes, our village is a bustling and a booming. Um, everything is going well. We will deal with all that stuff in another episode. This episode, again, is going to be for the creeper farm so we can start to get netherite. Um, but yeah, I always really enjoy these uh, just let's plays whenever there's a ton of stuff going on. So I hope you guys can kind of tell, but I'm really enjoying this right now because we have a ton of goals. And that just, that makes or breaks uh, the game for me at least. So I love being able to like look forward to doing something specific. Uh, but either way, got a little sidetracked there. But look, do you see this? Do you see what I mean? So if we, wanna, if we don't want to wait for the saplings to fall, we can just speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to mine a bunch of wood. I have brought this bone meal here for a reason. I'm just going to place the saplings down just like this. We'll do one tree for you on the camera just so you could see just so you could see wow and then we're gonna do this as much as we can break it and I guess we'll use dark oak trap doors I mean that's the kind of wood I'm getting again I feel like you get the most for your money because um, it grows a pretty thick tree here so you can get logs pretty quickly either way I'm gonna do this and I will be right back and I'll show you how much we get we have 37 so far like 42 dark oak logs so far so we'll see how much we get in a bit also you see i have some red poppies in here hmm. so um a few iron golems had to be killed um as well as one i just found dead i don't really understand what happens they get stuck in the wall somehow and they die but i did have to kill one because it was in the library and it was tricky to kill because they're very powerful <laughs> I should have done it on camera. It was a complete and utter failure, but I did get it done. And I was worried it would make the villagers hate me, but for some reason I don't think they noticed either. I don't know why. Either way, I'm going to get some wood now and I'll be right back. Also, guys, as I was doing this, I really do want to thank you guys because my channel has been doing exceptionally well lately. And I don't have anyone to thank but you guys because you guys are the reason it's doing so well. You guys are watching the videos and everything is really awesome. So thank you guys seriously so, so much. But one thing I did want to bring up, I was looking through my analytics and you've probably heard this from a few YouTubers and I was like, that's not true for me. Uh, but I looked at how many people watching my videos are subscribed and 75% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. Yeah. You heard that right. I have not heard of a percentage that high for a lot of YouTubers, but 75% of my views come from people who aren't subscribed. So if you notice that you're watching me and you've watched more than one episode, if you wouldn't mind, oh, Enderman, I hate you. Um, but if you notice that you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed, I'm not gonna like obviously like tell you what to do, but if you would, sub if you wanna subscribe, like maybe you forgot or something, or, you or maybe you don't subscribe and that's fine, just ignore me, but uh, maybe if you forgot or something, I would really appreciate a subscription from you. Um, obviously, it doesn't cost you anything, and you just get to see more Minecraft. So if that's what you want to see, um, then definitely turn on the post notification bell too, because I don't really upload that much. On and when I do upload, it's just Minecraft. So um, you're not going to be like getting spammed with a bunch of stuff you don't want to see. Uh, but yeah, 75% of my viewers are not subscribed. So. Can we maybe make that number like 70%? <laughs> that would be nice. Either way, I'm still happy doing what I do because I'm still getting a lot of views, but it's kind of weird that like a lot of my s viewers are not subscribed. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you forgot. I have no idea. Either way, thank you guys for all the recent viewership though. Not to overshadow the fact that my channel has been doing super well. Um, I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining or anything. I just thought it was very interesting that I looked through my analytics and that was the case. So... If you want to subscribe, do. If you don't, don't. Do whatever's going to make you happy. I'm going to get back to mining wood, and thank you guys so much for watching. All right, so I should. Have, I figured I'd show the last little bit of mining trees. I don't plan on mining anymore after this, so we will end it after, not end the episode, but end mining trees after this. Um, also, so I did talk about it briefly, but I played Minecraft for 12 hours straight on a live stream. Um, I got a little loopy like eight hours in. And I named my tools some some weird stuff, and I just 
I felt very out of it. I mean, when you talk, like, so when you're commentating, basically, like, what I'm doing right now, I'm thinking out loud. And it's a skill you have to hone, but even after doing it for, like, eight years, uh, when I was streaming, and after, like, eight hours, nine hours set in of doing that straight, it's weird because you start to, like, disassociate a little bit with yourself because you're, like, just talking for nine hours straight. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, obviously, I'm fine now, but it did feel a little bit weird when I was doing it. So, uh, if you want to hear me get kind of weird, I don't think that's the right word. If you want to hear me not, I, I don't know. Just if you want to hear me not like this, like my live streams, I'm, I'm kind of a different person when I live stream. I mean, not really, but, you know, obviously, I don't, I don't know. Just go watch it if you want to, but it's interesting seeing someone play for 12 hours straight because obviously it takes a little bit of a toll on you. Um, I mean, it's, it wasn't that hard, like, physically, except for my butt hurting for sitting that long. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty fun. And we got very far. We beat the entire game. So I really do encourage you to go back and see it. We had a small setback where we died in the nether and almost lost all of our stuff. But we bounced back. Um, I had a little minor little depression in the very middle of it because I lost all my stuff. And I was like, oh, I can't beat the game for my 500k stream. And then, uh, you know, the, everyone in the comments was super encouraging in the live chat and stuff. So they brought me right back up to speed and we beat the game. So if you don't want to watch it, that's pretty much what happened. But yeah, okay. We got enough extra saplings. I'm not too worried about that. Um, what I am worried about is my inventory getting really full. So before we start crafting some trap doors for the ceiling in here, I am going to need to clean up my inventory. There we go. Much cleaner of an inventory. We can even throw up the sticks. We don't really need those. Nor do we need two planks. So... I don't know how many trapdoors 29 by 29 is. Let me calculate that real quick. Okay, so, <laughs> whoops, 29 times 29 is 841. So, oh, this is not gonna work. We're gonna need, so, so trapdoors are really expensive to make. Like, even if you do it like this, you're only gonna get two stacks. All of this wood for two stacks of trapdoors. And I need, it said 841 or something like that. Uh, but I feel like that's a little high. I feel like we don't need that many trapdoors, uh, but we also need them for the canals that we're going to make. Uh, but I really do feel like that's too many, but I don't know. We'll, we'll sort of get a feel for it when we go and place all these down. We'll see how long it takes, but I am not looking forward to having to get 841 trapdoors. That's going to be, it's going to be interesting. So we'll just kind of do it like this. You have to hold down shift, which is another thing. Maybe I should have made this smaller, because to be fair, there's not anywhere else for mobs to spawn except for this room when I remove the torches. Um, at least to the best of my knowledge. I mean, obviously, I, can't, I don't know where every cave is, but I'm pretty sure we've filled up everything, and I don't really hear any mobs. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe 841 trapdoors is right. Oh, no. Okay, so I might have to gather a little bit more wood. I might have prematurely put my bone meal back in the chest, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of trapdoors. Oh, no. How many? Okay, we're, I'm going to put all these down, and we'll see how much of this thing we get done. I that I feel like that calculation is wrong, but that's how you'd get this. It's it's 29 times 29. Yeah, and it, it says 841. And this was like, this was like okay, well, maybe this was like 300. So maybe 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 that that number just seems really big but it's in reality not too big but let me place all these down and i will show you how much of it we get done because uh, just while i've been rambling we've gotten a good bit of it done but not really so let's see how much this gets done all right well we have six left so i figured i'd come back and it looks like i mean we got almost half of it done so it's not as bad as i thought but <laughs> that's a lot of trap doors so for some reason zombies and skeletons will not spawn if a trapdoor is on the ceiling with a too high ceiling because they're a little bit too tall. But creepers will. I guess because they're a little bit shorter or something. Um, but yes, I need to go and grab my bone meal unless I have... I'll have a little bit in here. Hopefully they'll grow on the first bone meal. Let's see. Well, this one took two. Okay, so maybe this will actually be enough bone meal. But yes, let me gather a little bit more wood. I guess a little bit more than what we got the first time. I don't even remember how much it was because that was about half or maybe a little less than half. But either way, let me get some wood. Alright, well, I'm still getting wood, and I figured I'd say this. I don't really ask for any number of likes, but if I could get some likes on this video, I really would appreciate it. Uh, I put a lot of work into this channel, and this Let's Play, so, oh my god. why? See, this is why I don't like, I don't like the Endermen. They just randomly just, they're not hard or anything, but they destroy my world. 
Um, they really do. But yes, please do leave a like if you've been watching this whole video. I really would appreciate it. Anyways, back to mine and wood. Okay, that's everything that I need. I don't think we'll need any more wood, and if we do, so be it. But I'll just go and gather it off camera. But I think this is more than enough. Um, so I'm going to put all these saplings back down because, well, why not? We're probably going to have to get more anyways, knowing myself. I don't know if that's enough, but it seems like it'd be enough, right? Like, I mean, that looks like the amount that would definitely be enough. But and we're getting a good surplus of dark oak saplings, too. For a while there, we really weren't. We were, like, running kind of low on them. Um, and I do recognize I can just pull up this little green book right here and just type in, like, dark. Oh, see, but that's the problem is, like, oh. I guess that works just fine, but you have to right click on it. Okay, that's not that bad. Wait. So you right click on it and then. Okay. Never mind. I feel like it's just quicker for me to do this, but, you know, I'm an old school player. There never was that little book. Uh, but on the console, I understand it'd be kind of difficult to sit here and, like, use your sticks to move all this material in here. But when you're on your computer, I mean, it's not too bad. I've been clicking since I was a young kid, so I can click pretty accurately, I guess. Not to brag or anything, but, you know, I'm pretty accurate with my clicks. Okay, this should be enough, more than enough, actually, because three of these is, like, I don't know, almost 200. So, yeah, this should be more than enough. So, let me finish placing all of these trap doors. It's not something you're going to want to watch. You know what? I'll let you watch me place a row of two of them, because I'm sure some people out there want to see this. Um, so I'll at least do a row of two and then I will just cut the camera and do the rest because I'm sure the majority doesn't want to see this uh, But maybe someone out there does you know I want to try to make everyone happy, but obviously that's impossible most of the time I get well. No, I shouldn't break that. I'm gonna have to put them there anyways. Okay Yeah, I'll just break it because it's bothering me. So I the way I've been doing it is Just putting four of them down and kind of shift walking backwards and placing them yeah, we got more than enough. We're going to have a little bit of extra trapdoors, but that's okay. I'll find a use for them. We do need a bunch for the canals as well, uh, but yeah, let me get to it. All right, so I just have this last little corner bit, and it uh, looks like we got pretty close to the exact number we'd need. We're going to have to get some more just because the canals, again, they need those trapdoors so that the creepers will walk into them. Uh, but we'll have... No, we, we won't have enough for the canals, but that's okay. Again, I could get those off camera, but... Now we are complete. If we break down a block, which I'll probably do this for the thumbnail, probably like break down like this or something and then, you know, zoom in like this or something and then take the thumbnail like this or something. Maybe. I don't know. We'll pl oh, hold on. I need to get the thumbnail. So give me a sec. Anyways. Okay. So we got the thumbnail made. Not really, but I took a screenshot. Maybe this will be it. I know this is super cramped in there. I don't really like being in there either because once you walk into like an open area, it just feels so much better. This guy has been trapped here for like, I don't know how many episodes, but dude, you gotta, you should just walk. There you go. They just get trapped everywhere. I'd be surprised there isn't like some villagers in here. Are you serious, dude? Uh, we're just gonna leave them in there. That, it's a lost cause. Don't do a big farm like that underground because for some reason, Enderman, if you light up all the caves around, you flock to it. Um, but yes, we got to do some canals, obviously. Um, this is, oh, I need to grab some blocks. Um, this is 29 by 29, so there should be a good center. But to be honest with you, I don't really think it matters where the exact center is, but we'll grab a few blocks anyways just to, you know, measure it out all the way. I will, however, need a few. Maybe I have some wood in here. Yeah, I do have a little bit in here. Uh, we can take those. I don't really care if they're all the same trapdoor. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so if there's any kind of trapdoors, maybe we'll grab a little bit of oak wood as well. And then we'll fill in the gaps. Okay, so what I'm going to grab is, what was it? Water buckets. Where are they? Oh my god. We still have three. We have a lot of buckets now. Um, I guess we'll just do four. It doesn't really matter, but it would make things a little bit quicker if I had four. And look, he's right back in there. So we need to, we need to, we need to devise a way to prevent this. Um, also, there was, where did I put my infinite water source? That's my biggest problem here. Um, cause I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure that I don't have an infinite water source anymore. Oh no, this could be tricky. Uh, because it was in that little farm area, and I guess I haven't had a need to get any water or anything, so, um, it's not a big deal, though, it really isn't. I have, you know, a bunch of water buckets in here, so we can just take them out temporarily and, uh, make our very own infinite water source. We'll just put it somewhere easy to find. It was originally in here, so maybe we'll just put it back in here. Is this touch? You know what, that's, I think that'd be fine. No, I don't want it in here. 
I don't know. We'll f I'll find a spot for it. I really, f I really shouldn't have messed with it, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, like you know what? Right, is right there okay? No, probably not. I'm, I feel like there's a good spot for it, and I'm just missing it. Uh, oh yes, right here. That's perfect. Okay, so we'll put the infinite water source here. I'm not gonna make it look fancy or anything. We'll do that at some point. Actually, I do have some trap doors. I could just do it off the bat. Got to remove this bad guy though. There we go. And then we have the infinite water. We'll go put these buckets back. It's always kind of scary to think. Um, I guess eventually you could find some stuff underground, but it would take quite a bit to find them. Okay. So the water buckets are back. Now let's go to our spawner, which we access through here. I'll build a better entrance potentially, but again, it's going to be a thing where it just runs and they just die. I'm not going to do it for XP. I already have a double dungeon spawner for that. Um, so I'm not really worried about the experience from this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build these diagonally to figure out the exact center. Um, it's a little bit tricky if you don't do this, unless you're just really good with, you know, visuals and stuff. But um, see, you can tell that the corners lined up evenly, which is good. That means it's a square. Otherwise, if you do this and they don't line up, it's not a square. Um, if you took like geometry in uh, middle school or high school, I don't know when they teach geometry, but... I don't know. It's kind of like, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I did not like geometry and proofs and stuff. It wasn't too bad, but I don't oh, I haven't thought about proofs until just now. Either way. So now you know the exact center, which is good. Um, and I tried to build it 29 by 29 so that we could have three wide canals. So the hole that they're going to fall in is going to be right here. This is going to be like the very center of where they fall. So I'm just going to dig it down a little bit. You can see now why I put these little guides they really do help when you're building a spawner. Um, I encourage you to do it like either, you know, like like some sort of odd number by an odd number. Uh, otherwise, you won't have like, I mean, it doesn't, it's not imperative that you do like an odd number. But it, I don't know. I like odds easier. It, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's easier, but I'm just rambling. So what I'm going to do now is build some canals. Um, let me just remove all these. All right, now hopefully I don't forget, but you also have to put some slabs down in a way that will make spiders not spawn. I think spiders need a three by three area to spawn. I don't remember exactly. Actually, let me look it up. Yes, they need a three by three by one area to spawn in. So if you make an area with slabs on the ground, pretend these are slabs, like in the corner here, you have to like space them. Obviously you can't space them like this, right? Because then they have this, or not like that. You can't space them like this because this 3x3 area is where the spiders will spawn. So you actually just have to do something one block smaller. So just with it, with two block space in between, basically like this. And uh, you just have to do a grid of, pretend these are slabs again. These are supposed to be slabs um, of any material. It doesn't matter. But then they cannot spawn. So a little fun fact. That's how you get only creepers. If you didn't know how a creeper farm worked, that's, a, it, that's pretty much the entirety of it. Not very complicated, but... It works. It works. Okay, so I'm going to build this little area, and I'm going to build up the center to get out of it because, well, there's no other way to, for me to get out of it. Obviously, I'll break that down at some point. We'll just break it down as far as we can. We can actually break it all the way down. It doesn't matter. I keep thinking, like, oh, I don't want to put cobblestone down, but does it really matter? No. Um, also, I usually do my canals three blocks deep. It does not matter. As long as they're at least two blocks deep, that will be fine. Um, but I'm going to drill these to the edge. Now, the only thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing this, and I know this is not like a tutorial Let's Play, so I don't really know why I'm explaining it, but I just love teaching people. You got to remember, I did tutorials for like four or five years on YouTube, so I really got good at explaining stuff and teaching you guys. I'll probably do some tutorials again at some point since my audience is so big, and I feel like you guys really like those, um, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, either way, water will travel seven blocks or eight blocks, and then you have to go down one to make it continue. Um, what, what I mean is I'll show you in just one second, but what I'm doing right now is just digging out the canal So pretty boring. It actually looks kind of cool from down here when you look up and you see all those trap doors Kind of sucks. that I'll never get to see it again It'll just be you know in eternal darkness, but you know what that's okay. It's just that's the way it's got to be sometimes I suppose Okay, so what I was saying and I know it's kind of dark and I do apologize and then these torches will get destroyed so I might as well just uh, break them, but yeah, water will travel. I, I, I think you guys know all this. Water travels at eight blocks, right? And then when it stops going, you just have to break down that block, and you can make it continue going down, and just something like that. And then obviously you got to put some signs there, um, or something like that. Oh man, this is this is the part that got got tricky last time. Um, no, that's that's right. Okay, so 
This is how you solve the problem. This took me forever to solve, okay? You don't, obviously, you don't want the water going in there. That'll negate all chances of the mobs dying when they fall. Um, so you got to take up this water back. We already took it up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, because all of our buckets are full. should probably get all the buckets in our inventory. And not like that. There we go. Okay, so you want this to be eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like this. That way the water stops on that exact block. Um, you'll see what I mean in just one moment. I guess it'll take three here for some... What? All right, so I guess to make it infinite, you have to do this. You have to... I guess the water can't have an area to flow to, so give me a second. Now when I remove the dam, the water barrier dam, look at that. Oh, yeah, and it ends right there, so they'll, then they'll just fall. Cool, so now we just have to do that. I'll repeat this on all four sides of this. And I'll probably add a little bit of sub canals in in here. I really don't know. Um, I really don't know. I guess so if there's four of these, that's fine. But then there's like, maybe that'll be okay. We'll, we'll try it with those four. And if it's kind of slow, we'll expand it out. But yeah, give me a second. I'm going to copy this to all four sets. Ooh, look at that, guys. We can use our fortune pickaxe. Look, we get some lapis here. Let's see how much we get from one vein of lapis from this fortune. 349. That's why I love you, Fortune. That's why I love you. Cool. Alright, well, I'm very sorry to do this to you guys, but we're already at the 30-minute mark, and I've worked on this episode now for, like, two hours if we count digging this area out. I know it sucks when you watch a whole episode and you don't even get to see the project work, but rest easy. Tomorrow, I will show you how it works. Uh, tomorrow will be the next episode. Uh, so if you don't have post notifications on and you're not subscribed, I encourage you to do it again because you will know when I actually upload tomorrow's episode, episode 110. Uh, but yeah, really do subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, of course. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will finish this tomorrow. Uh, hopefully get some gunpowder, maybe do a little bit of netherite mining tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, but we got to do a little bit of setup again. We got to get an auto piglin farm going. We'll figure it all out tomorrow, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can just look up my name. It's the Neo Cubist, and you'll find me. Pretty, uh, It's pretty, pretty easy to find which one is me. There might be some fake accounts, I don't know, but my name is just the Neo Cubist, so it's pretty simple. Um, all the music I use down in the description. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. I don't think I am, but thank you guys again for watching, and thank you for all the recent viewership. Subscribe if you want. Subscribe if you don't want. Unsubscribe if you want to. Do whatever you want. Uh, but if you watch the whole video, I encourage you to leave a like. Maybe leave a dislike to show your anger that I didn't get to finish it. I do apologize. I, you know, it wasn't intentional, and I hate to do this, but we will show off the rest of it tomorrow. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Bye. So I actually had just started the, uh, the the episode that comes out tomorrow, and I realized I didn't give you guys a secret code. So the secret code of today's episode is going to be, I'm just going to do some random numbers. It's going to be 6436. So put that in the comments to prove that you watched the entire video. You will get a heart from me, and uh, I would just appreciate it. Again, 75% of my viewers come from people who aren't subscribed, so I really would appreciate it if you subscribed. But yeah, put that secret code in the comments and you will get a heart from me. Sometimes I miss a few and I do apologize. It's just the way YouTube is. But thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.